ancient ruins, a baby T-Rex, and snowmobiles. Welcome to Subjective Curiosities. Today's film is Rex a Dinosaur Story. Released in 1993 this is a film about a young girl who attempts to cope with her mother's abandonment through learning to be a mother to a baby T-Rex she helped her father hatch from an egg. This film has a runtime of 106 minutes and was directed by Haruki Kadokawa. Possible spoilers ahead. I had no idea today would be the day I would cry multiple times over a rubber T-Rex puppet Christmas. This element in particular appeared out of nowhere in fact I do not even like Christmas movie but well here we are and Jurassic Park is now dead to me. This is one of those films that is so much better than it had any need to be from what I know about it. Basically a cash grab to capitalize on the popularity of dinosaurs, primarily Jurassic Park but also look at that title. It's nearly identical to We're Back and all three films came out in the same year, and Kaiju in the early 1990s. It does not matter that this was a cash grab film including hyper-emphasized product placement. It does not matter that it randomly becomes a Christmas film an hour into the film. It does not matter that the puppet is clearly a puppet. It does not matter that the film is as cheesy sentimental as can be including a Pavlovian score. These are all elements in films that are more likely to annoy me than not but despite all of this I still felt deeply invested in the drama, the joy, and the sorrow represented in this film and rarest of all in a film like this I actually cared about the human characters as much as the non-human characters. Just gonna repeat that again for emphasis, I actually cared about the human characters as much as the non-human characters. I was able to enjoy this film on two levels, kind of similar to the experience of watching Robocop, 1987, for the first time. When I watch Robocop I enjoy the absurdity of it all, it's purposely over the top, and yet it also commits to being just a downright amazingly fun genre pick that doesn't hold back just because it's cynical and absurd. Now Rex isn't really a message film though alongside its blatant product placement is a generally anti-corporate anti-authoritarian message, you might say those were the comfortingly recuperated waters most media was swimming in at the time pre-9-11. In the case of Rex it's more the reality of the absurdity of how unlikely the plot is where every little thing that happens comes back around again later in the film, and there are many scenes where we get to have our cake and eat it too, for example due to a post-credit sequence we get double endings. And yet at the same time, as with Robocop while this absurdity is delightful, there is something impressive about the fact that it also works on its face as a genre pick. I feel fully invested and more importantly joyfully entertained by the visuals alone. I actually leaned more toward the authentic side on this one, but I think a scene that demonstrates what I mean here is the scene where Little Rex meets Tant and the dog. It is so absurd and yet it still will tug at your heartstrings. This film is such a visual delight as well. Scenes that the studio could have saved money on and made filler instead are filled with a snowmobile chase, a hot air balloon escape, and there's fireworks at Christmas. Love the effects in the cave in particular both the set itself and all the laser aesthetic stuff. I also love how the first part of the film takes its time while we are waiting for the egg to hatch. Letting the audience get to know the simple but powerful dynamics of the main characters as well as setting up many themes to be repeatedly hit upon throughout the rest of the film but just as I start to worry that, like so many other 1990s films, to save money the dinosaur is going to play as small a role in the film as possible, the majority of the rest of the film is devoted entirely to the cutest antics imaginable where the dinosaur gets lots of screen time. Seriously there is a full on slow dance in the snow. Also the cinematography is great, we get to see beautiful forests as well as just a lot of great lingering shots of the characters. This is the kind of film I wish I had seen when I was the main character's age but I am so happy to discover as an adult now that life is even worse than my traumatic childhood and that I am old enough to get stoned and watch it. I adore Tammy and the T-Rex but I think Rex, a dinosaur story just barely squeaked by it to be my all-time favorite dinosaur film which it did with basically just one dinosaur in the entire film. This leaves the original Jurassic Park at a very distant third place. 5 stars out of 5. Thanks for watching, if you have any thoughts about Rex A Dinosaur Story I would love to read them in the comments.
If you would like to read film reviews before they are made into videos check out my letterbox profile trash VHS. Link in the description of this video. Have a great day.